Hi there, it's me, Teacher Mike from Puka Pals. Welcome to the video. Now, the question is today, what is GED? This is a question that many customers ask me every week, many students ask me every week, so let's break it down and make it as simple as we can. GED was set up in 1946, okay? It was actually set up by the US government to help out the American GIs that were coming back from the Second World War with no high school qualification. Therefore, the government thought in order to raise human capital, they would uh, give an opportunity to these soldiers to get their high school uh, diploma and then move on to higher education or work. So they, they invented the GED and that's still the same test that we have today, although we have different versions of it today. Uh, since that date, there have been 20 million graduates of GED, which is a huge amount of, of kids that have been helped out. Um, it's a computer-based test and you have to go to a Pearson VUE testing centre in order to take this test and you can find those online, just go to Pearson VUE or book your test through GED.com and they will tell you where your closest uh, testing centre is. Um, it is a diploma also known as a certificate or a credential. So don't get confused with these three words. They mean exactly the same thing. But this is actually called the GED diploma. Okay, but it, it's, you know, it's a, like a certificate or a credential as well. Um, it measures high school equivalency. Okay, so the GED measures your, whether your grade 12 equivalency or not. So are your, are your math skills, your reading skills, your uh, skills of writing, etc. Are these equivalent to a grade 12 level in the US? If they are, then you pass the diploma. Okay. Next, there are four subject areas in the GED test. There's uh, social studies, science, maths and RLA, which stands for reasoning through language arts, which is basically English reading and writing. So there's only four subjects in total. You have testing flexibility with the GED, which means when you book your test, you get to book the day and the time and the center itself you want to do the test. And it's, it's pretty cool because you can actually take one test one day, then if you want to wait a week, you can take another test and there's lots of flexibility with the booking. Also, if you, if you fail a test, um, you can actually fail it three times in a row and then you have to wait for, a, I think it's two months in total, and then you can retake the test again. So it's not like your, your chances end after the first time. So it's not trying to fail everyone, it's trying to get everyone through eventually and uh, get up to get on with their lives. It's accepted in 95% of US colleges, okay, so that's in the, that's in the US um, and North America and Canada. There's many, many colleges accept GED as well. Um, other countries as well are waking, not waking up, but they're, they're starting to realize that G, the GED credential um, produces good students. So in Japan, Taiwan, uh, Germany we have a partner now. Um, also in Thailand, all universities, all international departments. Um, Singapore, there are colleges that accept you in for diplo higher diplomas etc with GED. Um, also Switzerland, um, we have partners there as well. So we're, we're always looking for new opportunities and students are going to study overseas with their GED diploma. Another thing is that getting your GE diploma helps you earn more money in the long run. Okay, high, high school graduates often earn a lot more. In the US, it's around eight or nine thousand dollars on average per year for more. So it's well, well worth your, your efforts getting your GED, no matter what country you're in. Okay, so that's it. That's what GED is. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.